The process of, you know, of actually applying to the DGA and the interview process goes a little bit like this. You download the application online, um, you fill out the application, they ask you, you know, they ask you a few questions and um, they, they want you to turn in some recommendation letters and it's just, you know, it's kind of like a college application. The biggest thing in this first step is that everything is formatted correctly. Um, if your margins aren't formatted to their requirements, then that's an automatic out the door. Um, so they're really kind of just checking to see, can you follow directions? Along with having a good, you know, good application um, letter and then some strong recommendations and then some good answers to, I think it's like five questions they answer you, kind of just like general questions about yourself, about your um, career aspirations. And if you answer those questions well and the, the application is formatted correctly and you have good recommendations, I think each year they get about 600 applications and then they pick about maybe 150 to 100 of those applications to move on to the next step. So, step one is the application process. They narrow it down some, and then the people who are chosen to move on to the next step go to step two. And step two is a testing phase. And it's kind of like an IQ test. So it is a, um, it's a test that you take, and it's kind of just measuring your, your problem-solving abilities, and it's a timed test. So you, you take the test, and I'm not gonna lie to you, the first time I took the test, I thought it was so hard. And I had no idea, you know, I had no idea really what it was looking for. Um, I figured it out along the way, but it was, it was, it was a little different. But needless to say, I moved on to the next stage. And they narrow it down. After, after the testing phase, they narrow it down a little bit more. And then for me, I went to the New York program. They have one in New York and one in, in LA. And the LA process is just slightly different from the New York process. So I'll only be talking about the New York process. Um, so after the second stage, which is, which is the testing stage, they narrow it down, and then the third stage is a one-on-one -on -one interview with um, a personal uh, interviewing consultant that the DGA hires. And so you literally have to fly to New York and interview in their offices with, uh, with this interviewing consultant who is literally there to just ask you certain questions and get a feel for your personality. They interview you. And the, the first interview is really very conversational. They just literally ask you a lot of questions about yourself. And one of the main questions that they ask you is, what do you want to do? What do you want to be? <laughs> and you don't want to tell them anything other than an assistant director. They're not looking for you to say, hey, I want to be a producer or, or, or a director or an actor or a filmmaker. They just want you to want to be an assistant director, which is what I want to be and what I want it to be. So, I definitely answered that question correctly. After that interview, which is the third step, you move on to the fourth and very final stage, and they only pick about 20 people to come in and interview with the DGA uh, board of directors. And so this was, for a lot of people, this is the most intimidating stage. Um, you literally come in to the DGA office in New York and go to like the top floor and you're sitting at a like a boardroom table with all of these you know legendary uh, assistant directors many of them who are now producers and co-producers as well and they just nail you you know they just ask you all of these different questions like back to back to back to back and they're trying to crack you um, and I, I personally I'm someone who I like to be in front. I probably do better interviewing in front of a larger group of people as opposed to just one person. I kind of, I came up in theater, so I like the idea of performing. I like the idea of having an audience. So this last stage, they come in, they ask you, you know, one of the first things they asked me was, you know, okay, so when did you get to New York? And I told them, you know, I landed here yesterday, you know. 
And then they said, well, what'd you do when you got here? And I told them the truth. When I first landed there for my last interview, I couldn't check into my hotel. So I went to the bookstore and I bought a book. Uh, I bought a book by Rod Robert Rodriguez. Um, I forget the name of the book, but it's basically talking about how he shot his, his uh, first movie, El Mariachi, for uh, like, like $7,000. And it's kind of like just a book talking about his process. And I told them that's what I did. I got here and I went and got a book and read it, you know. And it's little things like that that they take note of. Like, it's very strategic. You know, every question that they ask you, you should answer it in a way that they will say, oh, this guy really, or this woman is really into film. They're really into this process. You want to make them believe that, you know, that you are just solely bent on becoming an, an, an assistant director and working in this industry. And if that is your one true goal and you really are passionate about that, then it should be easy. So after, after that last interview, you stand by for maybe two or three days and then they, um, they call you after that and they let you know, hey, you know, you got in or, you know, try again next year.